Okay, welcome to Math 170 Online, this uh, first summer session at Arizona State University. I am Mark Ashbrook, your instructor for the course, and I wanted to take you through the, uh, the main places online that you'll be using and also get you oriented to my math lab, which will be the where you're doing all the homework and exams. So here's, this is Blackboard. This is our kind of uh, home base for the course. I posted an announcement here that gives you uh, your startup tasks that you should um, complete here in the next day or two. And then week one, uh, we're already going here strong. We have a lot of work to do. It's due Friday at midnight is uh, chapter one. All the work for chapter one is due Friday at midnight. So our startup tasks are, if you haven't already, you should have, but if you haven't already, you need to enroll in our My Math Lab course. You need to get a U card at Proctor U, and this is kind of your identification card for taking exams through this online proctoring service. And then you're going to visit Piazza, which you to make sure that you're enrolled in the in the system, which is a discussion and help forum where you're going to be um, posing questions and and answering each other's questions here in kind of an online uh, discussion board forum for getting help. And then I will be um, checking in there as well and providing answers um, to some of your questions as well. Okay, so in terms of my math lab, if you click over here in this, this third link over here, uh, this link here is the same as this one here. They both take you to the main um, Pearson site um, where you can, if you haven't enrolled yet, you're going to register as a student. Um, once you get enrolled, you're going to sign in and to roll uh, to register once you register with um, my math lab our course ID is this one right here this is also on the syllabus which you can find it right here in the my math lab area on blackboard and this is where we're going to be doing everything this is where you're going to be doing your study plan which is consists of all the homework and then which is called mastery points and that's where also you're going to be taking your uh, midterm and final exams. <clears throat> so if you haven't gotten uh, enrolled in my math lab, you got to do that immediately. If you have not received your registration code or you don't have the money right now to, to purchase a registration, you can, um, along the way in the registration process, get temporary access and that will allow you to work on the course while you're waiting for your code or waiting for your funding to come in to purchase the uh, purchase the MyMathLab subscription. So you can get started on the course even if you're, you, you haven't gotten your code yet. So look for that, uh, temp, it's called temporary registration. <clears throat> okay, so then uh, next is uh, ProctorU. So I'm not gonna go into this in detail, but this, you wanna uh, read through all this, and then this tells you how you're going to uh, get a U card you want to do that as soon as possible. You don't want to wait till the last minute. So you're going to do that this week. You get a U card. This gives you all the instructions for that. Okay, and then and then that week when the exam comes in a couple weeks, we'll give you more information on that. But do get your U card this week. It only takes about five minutes. Okay, and so this has all the instructions for creating a U card right here in this area here. Next is the Piazza forum. So from here, you can hit Launch Piazza. It will take you to the, the website. You should be registered. I, I put all every email address um, to register you, so you should be registered. Make sure you are. And then um, click around in different locations and, and uh, just get yourself familiar with the system. It's going to be a good source of help, um, both where I will be answering your questions, but mostly you students will be answering each other's questions. OK. So um, that's kind of your checklist for things to do to get started. That's your startup tasks. Then uh, you want to get going soon. There's a lot of work to be done this first week, chapter one. The what's called the, the mastery points are due by Friday at midnight. Now you can still work on the mastery points and get them after Friday, but for credit toward your homework score in the course, you're going to need to get those done by this Friday at midnight and there are 15 mastery points and that's a lot of work and that's going to be typical for every week. Uh, this is a, an intensive course um, 
as it is, but then we're also condensing it into six weeks instead of a whole semester. So we're gonna we're gonna be going. It's gonna be a lot of material coming at you quick. You have to stay up with it. You cannot. You can't wait till Thursday or Friday to start working on your mastery points. It's just not gonna work. You're gonna you soon see how much work this really is. Okay, but there's lots of support for you uh, along the way. So let's take a look here. When you register and get enrolled in our course, you will come to a, a course home, which will look something like this. This is the course home for the course. And over here, you'll, you're going to see study plan. Okay, and that's what we're that's what we're focused on here when it comes to homework and preparing for the exam. So click on study plan. The first thing that you'll see is um, there it'll say how many mastery points you've earned. So I've earned zero of ninety six, and that's where we'll, everyone will start there. And then there'll be this this region here that says what to work on next. I don't really know how they they um, have um, designed this or programmed this to work, but it's telling me to work on chapter four next. So and that's not really very practical because we got to get chapter one done this first week. So I. I just say kind of skip over this, this what to work on next, unless it's telling you the, the actual next thing to work on in the current chapter. So for me, I'm going to ignore this because this is not till week four that I'm going to work on chapter four. But then if you, if you uh, scroll down, you'll see here's the actual first section of chapter one. And what you see over here is there's a practice link for each, sec for each um, mastery point. And there's a quiz me link. And the way it works is you can go right to the quiz if you want and see if it's something you've learned in the past. You can quiz out of it. Basically, you can earn your mastery point without doing any preparation, without doing any uh, practice or watching any videos or reading the text. If you can pass the quiz, that's totally legitimate. And you need 70% or more to get your mastery point. And so what I did here is I actually tried this one, and I didn't finish the quiz, and so I didn't I didn't I didn't pass that quiz, and therefore I didn't earn the mastery points, and or the mastery point, and as in that situation, then it's it's going to push you to it's going to make you do the practice, and so I'd have to click here to work through practice. So there's five practice questions here that you can work through. And then you have links here to um, a textbook, video, viewing an example, help to solve it. So this is all the pra in the practice area. And then we'll be in this particular practice for this particular uh, quiz. There are five practice questions. Once you've worked through those, then you'll have the opportunity to do the quiz again. And you can do it as many times as you need to until you pass to get the mastery point. And so then for this first section of chapter one, there are four mastery points, uh, one for each quiz. Okay, so then if you go to view all chapters here in the lower right hand corner, you'll see um, all the chapters laid out. And if I click on the plus sign, now you'll see the four sections for chapter one. If I click on this plus again, so those are those four, um, those four mastery point um, topics that you'd have to work through to get your mastery point. And then similarly, like for this next section, there are, there's five mastery points for that section, three mastery points for that one, and finally three mastery points for 1.8, and that makes up the 15 mastery points that are due for credit this Friday at midnight. you got to work through all. So there's, there's 15 mini quizzes that you will earn one mastery point each. Okay, so going back to study plan. So you're working through, so for instance, myself, I'm showing that I'm working through the very first section of chapter one to get these four mastery points, one for each quiz. Again, 70% correct on the quiz, get you the mastery point. If you fail the mastery, the quiz, you need to do practice to get the opportunity to take the quiz again. Okay, so I'm going to show you the resources that you have um, to learn and during practice. If you go to Multimedia Library, and so you can go to chapter here, chapter one, 
can say I want practice with that first section, 1.2. I can do select all, find now. There's all kinds of resources here. You've got chapter one, test prep videos. There's a video for every exercise okay, in the test prep. There's the multimedia textbook. So you can click on that. And this is the online e-text. And for this particular section now, this is 1.2. So it loads up here. And so here it is, one page at a time. To advance to the pages, you're going to hit on these gray, click on these gray bars, left and right, will advance you through the pages. And then scrolling down to, to see all the page. Right again, oops. So there's your online e-text. That's right there, multimedia textbook. Interactive figures. So it's going to be some animations that you can you can uh, click and drag and move things and, and it helps you to learn some of the concepts. There's a PowerPoint for 1.2 and video lecture for 1.2. So great resources again. That's multimedia library. And you're going to click the chapter that you want, the section that you want. And I just do select all, find now. And that will give you all these links to text, videos, PowerPoint, interactive figures, animations. And there, that is available for all the sections. So here's the last section of chapter one, find now. And now this is for 1.8, same kind of array of resources for you. There are also even more videos that we've created back on Blackboard. So if you go down here to class content, chapter one, click on chapter one. Again, here it says that your 15 mastery points are due by Friday, May 20th. And then in each one of these folders are videos. These are videos created locally by ASU. So the, the videos on my math lab were created by the publisher. And these videos were created by the math, uh, the math school of math at ASU. And there's a My Math Lab link also in these class content areas. So you've got the videos for all four sections of chapter one, and then chapter two, three, four, five, six, same thing. Okay, so I hope that helps you navigate this. Again, you've got your three startup tasks, and you've got to get rolling right away here on working on chapter one. Racking up your mastery points by doing those little quizzes. And you've got 15 of those due. That's the end of all of chapter one, due by this Friday at midnight. And then that schedule is also laid out here in the weekly schedule in the syllabus. And you can also always email me. Here's my email address, clark.a at asu.edu. And I will be checking your email many times a day to, uh, to help you and support you throughout the course. So good luck.